Check out what I got today. I got us some new toys. Pick these up today. We got an Aaron's older 924 series. Not too bad of shape. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might just pull the engine off of it, junk the rest. Uh, the gearbox on it is good, but the augers are locked on the shaft pretty solid, so I don't know. Have to wait and see. Maybe just saw the auger bucket separate. Uh, Toro push mower, the uh, GTS series, with the six horse on it. Uh, I did notice this one has the uh, key start on it. I think this is the battery right here. What the hell is a nine nine volt battery or something? I don't know. But it's uh no good you shared me that. What kind of engines on this thing? Looks like a Honda. What the hell is this? Is it a Tecumseh? Or maybe Kawasaki. Hmm. I don't know. GT is guaranteed to start on first, second pull. Oh, who makes this? I have to dig around for a mall number later. Looks like a Kawasaki, I think. I didn't think Toro put those kind of engines. Maybe it's for their own engine. I don't know. And we get the simplicity too. Simplicity. How many horses is this thing? This looks like a seven horse. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say there. Look at the top. It is a seven horse. Not too bad, not too bad. So there's that. And uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. I think I might just part it out. Sell the engine separate, sell the tires, and sell the gearbox. And that's about it. I think this has friction disc on it. I don't think it's uh, gearbox driven. So these will all probably get chopped up pretty easily. And we'll probably do these over the weekend. Let's take a look what we got in the garage. And oh uh, yeah, I picked these ones up too. Just uh, they came with the baggers, but push mowers are done. I think that one's blown up, believe it or not. And that one there, I don't know. It's just missing so many parts. So they're both done. Off the scrap, I only bought them for the baggers. I also picked up the little Husqvarna there. Only bought it for the engine, basically. But anyway, so. All together, that ran me uh, 65 bucks today for all those things. What is it? Four push mowers, two snow blowers. That's not too bad. So, pretty decent. Uh, peeled some stickers or peeled the uh, tape off the stickers last night. This thing looks pretty decent. Um, didn't lay down quite as flat as I was hoping it would, but it's all right. Gives a little bit of a textured look to it. It's all right. Not a whole lot you can do there. It's just a snow blower. Um, so that all came out pretty good. I was able to pick up the pieces today for it. Uh, we got these goodies right here. Crack it open. I'll show you what I got. Just knock it out of the way. For a second, I was missing something. I was like, oh shit. Alright, so these are the four things I got uh, fuel filter, carburetor gasket, intake gasket, and governor spring. And these right here are 20 bucks. Basically, 5, 5, and 5, I think it was. Um, not too bad. So, I'm gonna start uh, pulling off, pulling out the, the carburetor. That we need for this. This is sitting in the bucket of cam dip still. It's been sitting in there for almost two days now. So it should be all set to come out. Take the float out though. Float! Alright, it looks cleaner. Oh yeah, way cleaner. So I'll go ahead, pull this puppy off, blow it off, run it with a carb cleaner real quick, and uh, start reassembling it so we can get this thing uh, fired up and going. I like to uh, move it out of the way, uh, just for the time being. I still got to pick up a belt for this thing tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow is uh, Saturday, so they're not open. So Friday, I mean uh, Monday. Holy shit! Gotta get my days right. Uh, so Monday, I'll go pick up a belt for this thing, and then this thing is basically all done. 
Uh, so it's pretty much good. I got to pick up some spray paint over the weekend for it just to finish up a few other oddball parts. And uh, yeah, awesome, isn't it? So that's uh, that's what we got going on. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll get back to you once we get the curb rebuilt. All right, well, that took about an hour and a half to uh, assemble. That wasn't too, too bad. Um, I was hoping I would have sped up the process just a little bit. But whatever. Uh, she's all on, all rebuilt. I don't like the way that choke is. It kind of sucks in the location that's at. But it is what it is. I guess that's how they made it. And uh, new gaskets are on there. Cleaned up the jets. Got the new uh, fuel filter on there. As you can see, she's on. Freaking what a glare, huh? Jeez. But, um, yeah, I don't know about uh, how well this battery's gonna take a charge. It's a brand new battery, but fucking things are sitting, so you never know. And uh, the battery charge has only been on here for about 10 15 minutes now. Um, hopefully, she'll she'll fire up. I gave her a quick little whoop, whoop, you know, just to make sure she had power, but seems like she's alright. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, crank her up. I might throw a little bit of carb cleaner in this puppy. Just uh, for safety precautions, uh, one other thing I gotta do is just want to make sure I did heating up that governor. Yep, let me just double check it with the wrench here. Yeah, the governor is all tight, so uh, we'll have to wait and see how this thing turns out. So, I'll see if we can crank her up. A little choke, a little bit of throttle already on. Let's see. Almost. All right, let's throw a little bit more uh, son of a bitch in there. Hopefully this choke is right too. Is this thing, yeah, all right, that's good. Take her off choke. Hmm. Don't want to kill my fucking battery charger either. That's why I'm kind of sort of click click. Yeah, I don't want to kill my fucking battery charger. That's the last thing I need to break. So I'm going to let it charge up a little bit. And hopefully she'll get a little bit of power. She's getting the fuel, which is a good thing. Hopefully she got enough in her too. I didn't quite check that. Oh yeah, she's a little low. Dump a little bit of that in there, but at least I know she's got some spark, which is good. Because I did not want to have to deal with points of condensers on this thing. Alright, well, we got a little bit of a problem. I kind of sort of knew about this, and I was kind of sort of hoping it wouldn't happen, but uh, it happened. So, I got all the components and stuff put on. I already went through that. Uh, I ran it, and sure enough, it did like what it did two years ago. And that's rev extremely high. Uh, I thought I might have fixed the problem today with the new governor spring and it didn't do anything and neither did the uh, linkage I, uh, I straightened out the linkage and it didn't do anything so this thing has a governor problem I kind of sort of thought that, that that it was the issue uh, so I have reason to believe that the governor on the inside of this thing is done uh, maybe the splines are done, done I think this probably would have a plastic one in it I don't think it would be a metal one so I reason to believe it's a plastic one and probably the uh, the uh, which McCall's the gears are probably done or either that it somewhere along the line something got hung up and it cooked the uh, keyway so yeah that's uh, that's why I have reason to believe that the governor's done it's not even getting any response you can put this thing on low idle and uh, it won't do jack shit so I believe it's it's pretty much done um, I mean that's low idle and the thing would still be friggin rip roar and I've already adjusted the governor a couple times on making sure it wasn't just my stupidity and uh, I think we're dealing with like another incident like that Husker barn I had from my uh, zero turn I had in the summertime and all last year I ran it with no uh, governor yeah I think that's what this issue is because it, it's just not getting any uh, any pressure on this guy right here other than the spring tensioner and uh, you should have a little bit of something in there, but it, it's got nothing. So, yeah. 
Anyway, I'm going to contact the owner of it, tell him what the deal is, tell him that I'm going to have to crack open his engine to figure this issue out. And hopefully this pulley here, it will come off easily because sometimes these things here don't, don't come off very easily. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. Awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Uh, yeah. So, I got to be out of here before 7 o'clock. It's uh, 5.45 right now. So, I'm going to contact you. I want to figure what he wants to do. Uh, hopefully, maybe start breaking some of this down so I can crack it open, see what's up with it. Uh, drain on some of the oil in it because this this truly sucks you know didn't really want to have to do a governor job in this engine but it is what it is so anyway enough talking let's start calling all right well i guess this is open heart surgery before i go to an italian meal with my family but uh fucking thank god for pulley pullers i tell you look at this She's popping right off. Gotta get this belt off though. All right, let me release a little bit. Some fish. Gotta love them. Been using them now for quite a few months now. Bought a set and I fell in love with it. Let me get this guy hooked back up. Things work great for transmissions. Snowblower pulleys, Aaron's pulleys, you name kind of pulley. It works great for it. Give her a little tighten. Oop, wrong one. That's reverse. Come on. Yeah. Hey, come on. There we go. Make sure they're all even and away we go. Oh yeah. Gonna love it. Oh yeah, now that's a friggin' pulley. That's scrap metal right there. Woo-wee! Alright, let's fucking crack this son of a bitch open. Wasn't well, gonna do her, but I'm too nice of a guy. Oh yeah. That's gonna be fun to get in there. Get this keyway off. Alright, well I'm gonna start cracking her open. All right, well, I got the whole case apart now. Well, not really apart, but I got the back casing off of it. Uh, don't even really know where to begin. Couldn't really find anything. I don't quite get it. This puppy's opening up and closing fine. Uh, I think everything should be all set. I'm going to check the timing on it next. Making sure that ain't fucking throwing off. I can check it right now. Nope, can't check with that. I have to grab a pair of vice grips just to crank her down on the fucking unit, but uh I don't know, everything seems to be alright. See Time looks to be alright. Yeah, time and dead on. So it ain't that. What the freaking deal is? It's like the fucking unit in here isn't even spinning. That's the issue though. She ain't getting no uh, feedback, so I don't know. I truly I don't know. Look at that sludge. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna do a little bit of research on tonight, try and figure it out. I don't know, maybe the uh something wasn't aligned right. No one's really touched it, I can tell you that. I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyway, I think we're in the video here, guys. So let me see what you guys think in the video. But then again, I'll probably already figure it out by the time this video goes up. So, uh, stay tuned for part two, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. It's just like there's no response. So I'm going to try and pop this puppy back on, scrape off the old gasket, put a new gasket on it. And, uh... Basically, I'm going to try it again, see what I can get out of some feedback out of this, see what the hell's going on, because, I don't know, something just isn't right. I don't know. Anyway, 
we'll talk to you guys all again tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have a good day. And uh, see you then. Overall, this project's beating me to friggin' hell. Holy. When's my vacation? Oh yeah, that's right. It's not for about another two weeks. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I just got back from dinner a little while ago, and I figured, you know what, I gotta get this thing done or else I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I'll be freaking out going, what the fuck? So, uh, last where I left off at was a RTV silicone around the unit there, around the subcase. And, I don't know, do some oil in her. Uh, fired her up, ran good. I have no clue what exactly happened. No flow. So something obviously had to have been caught, jammed, maybe something was dirty. I don't know. There was a little piece of like dirt or something on one of the gears, but I don't think that would have anything to do with it. But I don't know. She runs good now. Uh, I would fire her up, but uh, it's kind of late for one thing. And two, I gotta figure out why my key switch is not working anymore. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oop. Shit, my wires came undone. Have to hook it back up to the battery. So I don't know. I don't know what exactly happened, but she's now working good. She's running good. And tomorrow we'll uh, reassemble her and finish her all up. Awesome. Talk to you guys then.